Is salvation by faith alone or by faith plus works? This perhaps the most important question in all of Christian theology. Am I safe just by believing in Jesus or do I have to believe in Jesus and do certain things? The above argument is raised to the James chapter 2 verse 24. It says, a person is justified by what he does, and not by faith alone. At the same time, according to Paul, we have been justified by faith. Romans chapter 3 verse 28 For we maintain that a man is justified by faith apart from observing the law. Romans chapter 5 verse 1 Therefore, since we have been justified through faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. Galatians chapter 3 verse 24 So the law was put in charge to lead us to Christ, that we might be justified by faith. Ephesians chapter 2 verse 8 and 9 For it is by Christ you have been saved through faith, and this not from yourself. It is the gift of God, not by works, so that no one can boast. In support of the above, let us compare with the following verses. John chapter 3 verse 16 declares, Salvation is given to whoever believes in Him. That means, whoever believes Jesus will have eternal life. In another verse, Acts chapter 16 Verse 31 proclaims, Believe in the Lord Jesus, and you will be saved. Yet another verse, Second Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17, Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, has a new creation, the all has gone, the new has come. So now, back to James chapter 2. Let me read some verses. Verse 14. What good is it, my brothers and sisters, if someone claims to have fed but has no taste? Can such fat save them? In verse 15 and 16, James gives an example. Suppose a brother or a sister is without clothes or daily food. If any one of you says to them, Go in peace, keep warm and well fed, but does nothing about the physical needs. What good is it? Verse 17, in the same way, fed by itself, if it is not accompanied by action, is dead. We may use some examples like, suppose we go to church regularly, attend prayer meeting etc but outside the church if we live selfish dishonest corruption no love for others etc then it is not a true believer of christ in his or her heart let me continue verse 21 was not our father abraham considered righteous for what he did when he offered his son Isaac on the altar. Verse 22, you see that his faith and his actions were working together, and his faith was made complete by what he did. Here, Abraham loved and obeyed God. God regarded Abraham as his friends, means Abraham have a God personal relationship with God. When God asked Abraham to offer his dear son Isaac on the altar for burn offering, Abraham obeys God's command, and this is why James brought example of Abraham. Verse 23, And the scripture was fulfilled that say, Abraham believed God, and it, it was credited to him as righteousness. And he was called God's friend. Verse 24, you see that a person is considered righteous by what he do and not by faith alone. Verse 26, as the body without 
the spirit is dead. So fed without taste is dead. Apostle Paul also mentioned in the similar language in 1 Corinthians chapter 13 verse 1 to 3. Verse 1. If I speak in the tongues of men or of angels but do not have love, I am only a resounding cone or a clanging, clanging symbol. Verse 2. If I have the gift of prophecy and can fathom all mastery and all knowledge, and if I have a faith that can move mountains but do not have love, I am nothing. Verse 3. If I give all I possess to the poor and give over my body to hardship that I may boast, but do not have love, I can nothing. Here, love means a true faith in Jesus Christ can have and which is integral parts of a Christian life. Again, like James, Moll also mentioned the examples of their forefather Abraham. Abraham justified by faith, Romans chapter 4, verse 1. What then shall we say that Abraham, our forefather, according to the flesh, discovered in this matter? Verse 2. If, in fact, Abraham was justified by works, he had something to boast about, but not before God. Verse 3. What does scripture say? Abraham believed God, and it was credited to him as righteousness. Verse 4. Now to the one who works, wages are not credited as a gift, but as an obligation. And the above mentioned examples, James and Paul do not disagree in their teaching regarding salvation. They approach the same subject, yet from different perspectives. Paul similar emphasis that justification is by faith alone, while James put emphasis on the fact that genuine faith in Christ produces good works. Works are a product of faith. That is chapter 2 verse 14. Those who have true faith in Jesus Christ will be eager to do what is good. John the Baptist called for fruit in keeping with repentance, Matthew chapter 3 verse 8. The book of James emphasizes the nature of true saving faith as that which results in good works. Faith by itself, if it is not accompanied by action, is dead, and as the body without the spirit is dead, so faith without taste is dead. James chapter 2 verse 17 and verse 26. Grace through faith saves, and that faith is manifest in works. If someone claims to have faith yet exhibits no good works, his where her faith is dead. Both faith and works are integral parts of the Christian life. Biblically, Faith is the cause of salvation, while works are the evidence of it. At last, we know that our works do nothing to earn our salvation. Romans chapter 3 verse 24, It was the once for all sacrifice of Christ that justifies sinners. Galatians chapter 2 verse 16, Know that a person is not justified by the works of the law because by the works of the law no one will be justified Galatians chapter 3 verse 2 and 3 we begin by faith and we continue in faith did you receive the spirit by the works of the law or by believing what you heard are you so foolish of the beginning by means of the spirit are you now trying to attain your goal by human effort? So to summarize the topic of our, we must know that the idea that faith plus works to earn salvation is nowhere doubt in the Bible. 
However, it is biblically true that saving faith produces good works. Titus chapter 2, 11 to 14. A balanced reading of the Bible confirms that the two do not contradict. James amplifies Paul's teaching in the sense that while Paul addresses the redemption perspective, James focuses on the post redemption life of the believer. Thank you for watching my video. My next video will be Grieve not the Holy Spirit of God. Ephesians chapter 4 verse 30 Why grief instead of angry were said? This is an interesting topic we need to learn. So visit my next video and also please subscribe my channel so that you will get notified all my videos. Thank you. May God bless you.